Death of Taxes. If you want to check out the game while I play it on Steam, you can follow the link. It's a 2D narrative adventure. We're going to judge people. The game's not showing on stream yet. Why is it not doing that? Come on. There you are. <laughs> um, Yeah, I've seen a little bit of uh, gameplay of this like a while ago. So I'm looking forward to actually playing the demo myself. And there's Twitch integration. I checked. There's Twitch integration. You can help me judge people. Let's go. Wish taxes would lead to the IRS website. <laughs> Amazing. I think Papers, Please is such a proud. Yes, I also love Papers, Please. So, let's go. I didn't play the game yet. Uh, that was me testing it earlier. Okay. Okay. Whoa. <gasps> Hello, sir. You have a beautiful bow tie. Stop giving us this power. <laughs> Nah, it's fine. I, tr I trust you. Fate Keeper of World Order. That sounds like a pretty tough job. You need lemons. Lemon. Okay. We must go get lemons, presumably. <sighs> Lemon time. You can 100% get music. That's fine, Weeman. That's what Twitch integration is all about. Here's the Beatles. Go. Ooh. That's a lot of lemons. And life Excuse gives you lemons. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Oh, okay. Uh, he angry. He going inside. He's doing magic. Okay. Oh. This is me. So how edgy do I look? <laughs> I could be a ghost skeleton? Oh, oh, skeleton. With a jazzy- oh. Oh no. Oh, I kind of like that. That kind of takes me back to my chemical romance days. I kind of dig that. How- how extra do I want to be? <laughs> Those skeletons for the extra death. Exactly. I feel like I have to be super extra. I feel like I have to be a ghost skeleton in this beautiful suit. What, what else am I gonna do? <laughs> Begin the bureaucratic afterlife. Yes, I'm ready. Finally, the new spawn has awoken. Hello, friend. Love that suit. Thank you. It's beautiful. <laughs> what a uh, momentous day. I am honored to welcome you into our world. Spawn. Hang on. Spawn number... Three, seven. Crab is hiding face, people face. I realized that, but when I tested the game earlier, this is the best place for my camera. Uh, I can move my face while he speaks at the moment, if you wish. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Ah, let's, I will be the cat. Hang on, if you really want to see his face right now. There you go. No, hang on, that's not far enough. Here you go, face. <laughs> There is a cat. Now you can't see the cat. You can see his face, though, so you can deal with it. <laughs> I am fate. I am the keeper of world order. Okay. Uh... Can I be fate? <laughs> Thank you, the cat makes me uncomfortable. Fair enough. <laughs> uh... What's going on, bro? Straight to the point. Great. You are in my office, here to work as a Grim Reaper. Okay. Do I get a choice? Welcome to your new job as an overseer of Cosmopolis City Subdivision 4, the Sun County Wine Region. Okay. I know what you are thinking, and yes, your assignment is choosing humans who have to die. Pretty standard stuff. I was actually wondering why capitalism exists in the afterlife, but sure. As it is your first day, try to get to know the system and do not destroy the world, yes? <laughs> Gallows humor, you see? Right, yes. <clears throat> Clear? <laughs> what a sassy man, I love him. We refer your Kali Mariopi from All Alive. I do not know that person. 
I'm sorry. I have to kill people? I'm not ready for this. Okay, whatever you say, boss. Will I get paid for this? Let's go full capitalism. How am I going to get paid? Most certainly. The contract stipulates that every dev gets a fair salary based on their performance accuracy. Right, I'm going to get nothing. <laughs> Marking profiles correctly is the most important task. If you mark more or less than necessary, you will not get your fee at all. Commission based, I gotcha. Errors in secondary tasks will reduce the total even if the primary task is <laughs> executed correctly. Oh, you, Mr. Pun Master. It's the Reaper from I Am Die. Thank you for a clip. Oh, okay, yeah, I know who you mean now. Remember. The fate of the world lies in your hands. Humans march towards the great dying. They always teeter on the precipice, creating endless chaos. Okay. We keep humans from falling off. We establish the equilibrium and keep the chaos in check. For that reason, your actions will have consequences. Okay, all right, where do I work? I was born to do this, why me? Whatever, let's get this over with. Um, uh, okay, sure, let's just go along with it. I guess I can't argue with fate. Where am I going? I will show you your workplace right away. Follow me. Okie dokie. One more thing. This will be your seven day evaluation period. When the week is done, you will be assessed. So I get sent back to where I came from, which is nothing if I do bad. One week to show us what you are made of, Reaper. All right. I got this. I've never been fired from a job. Okay, right. Now I have to move my camera back. This is why I left it there. Beep. Ta-da. Okay. Okie dokie. What am I doing? I have a phone. I have a phone at least. Good for procrastinating and scrolling through Corker. Corker? <laughs> Gawker? Gawker's a thing, right? That might take any job if they refer to me as Reaper in the workplace. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'll just go write, write that on my CV next time. The marker of death. <laughs> Better pick it up and start marking some files. Well, is that a fidget spinner? Spin it to the limit. Oh my god, it is. I have a fidget spinner. I'm never gonna get any work done. I'm just gonna spin forever. This is the demo, guys. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Amazing, okay. I could commune with the voices. Oh, this is the, um... This is the Twitch integration. I'm pretty sure it's the red book. I'm gonna leave that there. Spawn mail. My instructions for the day. That does spin forever. You you go you go over there. You go behind my camera. <laughs> Best fidget spinner stream. <laughs> yes. Welcome, Grim. Here are the files on humans or in life threatening situations within your domain. I'm granting you time to settle in, so no difficult rules and requests as of today. Words for the day, what human has to die? Send me the files by fax after you've made your decision. Good luck on the first day. Thank you. One human has to die. Let's put that there. Twitch, yeah, I, I checked the Twitch integration before I started. Yeah, you just, um... You get to wait on, on who lives, if you want to. But I'm going on my phone. Science Daily. In-depth. The merits of nuclear power. Can I read it? No? Oh, I can scroll. There's nothing else to see. I wonder if I'm making a difference. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Can I open a drawer? Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Alright. I should actually read some, some things, probably. <sighs> Victor Yashin, age 47, position safety inspector. Victor graduated the top of their class and made a fast climb on the career ladder, becoming the chief safety inspector of a local nuclear power plant. They've already spotted several mistakes, possibly preventing many accidents. Okay. And we have Philip Harms. <laughs> your last name is Harms. Hmm. Age 20, you're a student. Philip is a very random guy. 
raw XD, meaning they enjoy chaotic and odd behavior. For example, they love playing pranks their friends, on their friends and conducting occult rituals. Ah, uh, yes. Chaotic and odd behavior, like summoning the devil. Okay. They also have a personal catchphrase of stay out of harm's way, and they're fond of animal skulls. Okay, so I just have to choose one of you to die based on arbitrary information about your personality, which feels very mean. This is the fact. Deus Fax Machina! <laughs> Sleet to Max with the profile spray in my ship. Okay. That is Fax Machina. I am not like other boys because I worship Satan. I mean, that's basically him. See, I feel like they're going for an obvious bias on this one. Like, oh, he's very clever, he's very successful, he's saved other people by, you know, making sure things are safe, and then there's random student who doesn't have a job, he's got different interests, you know, I feel it's a bit mean. You know, I feel like there's a very obvious bias. Sinofa, thank you so much for the raid, how's it going? I hope you're good. <laughs> Ray, would you mind doing a shout out for me, please? Quirky blood rituals, yeah. <laughs> Ray, time. Hey! Ray, just come in first thing. They just read quickly how <laughs> blood rituals, yeah, I know. <laughs> you're playing Dandy Ace! Oh, I love Dandy Ace! I'm glad you're good. I hope you're all good. People came in with the raid. I'm Heck and Robin. Play indie games, we're doing Aracon at the moment. Uh, I need to decide who to kill. It is a bit. It's a bit. Hmm. A lot of interactions. Yeah, Dandy Ace is very good. I do I love that a lot. I'll go with the obvious one. Fine, you get to live. How do I act? You will live. You will die. Can I just draw it? I can draw. I can draw. I can draw. You get a halo, Victor. And a big tick. Love you. <laughs> Android Arica, thank you. Yeah, this is um, Death and Taxes, if you've not seen it before. You are gonna live. Okay. Uh, Philip Harms, uh, you can have a sad face. Because you're gonna die, I guess. Or do you have to die, actually? I, did I read that wrong? I can't- well, everything is on the screen, hang on. Put the pen down, there we go. Oh yeah, one human has to die, okay. I cannot just fudge that. <laughs> I'm a mustache. I know I can make Twitch chat side, but not for the first one. I'm gonna do it myself. I'm gonna be chilling while these smacks to be here. Okay, no worries. I hope you have fun with your art. You're really gonna kill a quirky young man. <laughs> blood for the blood gods. I mean, if you dabble in the occult, I guess it's kind of part and parcel, you know. So, uh, goodbye. Yeah, sure. I guess. I feel bad judging people. Oh, the new death spawn. Hello. Welcome. How was your first day? A person died. Regrettable, but also natural. You do this work for the greater good. Remember, lives I'm are fully on aware. The line. I'm guess I'm gonna leave it to Twitch chat. <laughs> I see exactly <laughs> one forward. person perished today. As task, did you figure out the best choice? Uh, there were only two options. Indeed. I am glad you are paying attention. In the future, I may require you to make more difficult choices. Well, that's just mean. Big boy who does not need a, a democratic majority to decide who dies in this monarchy. I was best. Well, I was. <laughs> Philip Harms' is last name is literally Harms. Yeah, I know, that was obviously... You know, they're obviously doing something there. I you wonder why I haven't been chosen to die. Oh, we've... I'm glad you can count here. Yeah. Such is the unfortunate, indisputable, incontrovertible, ironclad law of cosmos. Question? Nope, sure, let's go. Keep your eye on the letter for future It's guidance. fine, I kind of get what's happening. And keep up the good work. Aye, aye, Captain. A new day awaits. Off you go now. Bye. I love paperwork. Why are you spitting? Oh, 
that's how you spawn the, the, the back machine. I have a phone. What now? Black magic is a danger to the youth. <laughs> is that? Did he die doing black magic? Is that? Is that why I like that? Uh, fracking linked to earthquakes. New research confirms. Yep, makes sense. Hold on, let me uh, set this spinning. Maybe you're up against Philip. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Okay. On a grim, help you find your combinations adequate. Here are the rules of the day. Follow them, you'll be okay. One human with an engineering or industrial background has to die. Business as usual. Okay. Scoop that out the way now. Okay, put that there. So we have Isher Malik, 39, and you're a dairy farmer. Isher noticed their cows were acting strange, that the milk started getting a green tinge, and the taste could only be described as like licking a battery. If the milk is green, why did you try it anyway? Despite the protests of their spouse, they're always keen to investigate any and all oddities life throws their way. Okay, so their cows are aliens now? Okay. Jan Weber, age 25, solderer. You want a tiny thing fused to another tiny thing using an alloy of tin and lead? You come to Jan. Soldering is the cornerstone of building and maintaining any modern technological equipment, and Jan is the best at it. Okay. And Rajesh Nakavi, I'm bad at names. I'm sorry if I said that wrong. Age 32, oil fracker. Rajesh is in the fracking industry for the money, and no price from environmentalists will make them rethink. They're determined to rise to the career ladder and become the boss of the fracking firm someday. Okay. Uh... Green milk means it could taste like bread or beans. I don't know if that's how that works, Fredster, but maybe. <laughs> okay, so engineering or industrial. Which would imply these two. Dairy farmer isn't. Thing. So Isher just lives. Yes. Based on the instructions I have been given. Um. Okay. Uh. So I think if I click this button, you guys can vote. I believe is how this works. I don't know which one that means. <laughs> Or are you just telling me your opinion? I don't know. The timer is not very long. It's tied because nobody knew what to do. Because <laughs> there's a delay. God damn it. <laughs> oh no, the timer needed to be longer. <laughs> I mean, I can see your commands. I needed to have the timer a bit longer. Uh, I thought 30 seconds was too long. Apparently it is not because I forgot stream delay exists. Ray and Pollux just want people to die. <laughs> Let's look it up again, okay? Specific fact, if it's a colour, it will taste like a vegetable the same colour. Don't believe me, try yellow snow, it's like lemons. Okay, Fredster, sure. I'll, let, let's go with that. <laughs> okay, yeah, there's, there's too much of a delay. Um, anyway. It's all that later. I don't know either! <laughs> Okay, okay. Are we killing Rajesh? Just tell me in chat, it would be easier. Are we killing Rajesh? Is Rajesh dying? This this guy, he wants to murder the environment. And fracking is linked to earthquakes. Alex has died. He's a fracker. I mean, I don't think people... See, that's the problem. I don't think he deserves to die just because he doesn't understand the environmental impact of his industry or doesn't care. I'd like to state that for the record. I don't think anybody deserves to die. <laughs> we need to kill the engineering boy, right? We need to kill somebody with a background in, in engineering or, in, or industry? I assume oil fracking counts as industry. He understands he doesn't care. Yeah, I know, but that doesn't mean he needs to die. But I don't think we really have a choice, so... I guess... I think this counts as industry, so... Bonk. And you can live. And maybe that was correct, maybe it wasn't? We'll find out in a sec. Get bonked? <laughs> Did I do good, Grim, sir? How was the second day on the job? Good, I think. 
good. Good? So, did you follow the rules properly? This is a trick question. <laughs> I did. Great. Okay. Yes, everything looks to be in order. All right, cool. Continue the good work and do not let tough choices get you down. Sounds great. Great indeed. We could use more spawns with your attitude. Please stop calling me spawn. Rest well. You will need it. See you soon. Okie dokie. Cat purse, that's good. I want the cat to be happy. I want every cat to be happy. Okay. What a great new day dogs. You want to know the drill by now, just in case. Here's another simple one. No special requests. Try to follow the rules. Choose appropriate. Two humans have to die. Okay, what did we do? Dairy farmer claims I've found an alien energy source. I told you it was aliens. I told you it was aliens. <laughs> Local technician introduces new exciting soldiering techniques that may change the whole world. Well, there you go. We've done great. Tough choices getting this robin down. Never, by the way, we're doing a show. I'm not quite sure what you're afraid to think about. Few people have to die. Okay, so we have Leo. But Bay Bayowski, I'm bad at names, 67 politician. Leo has been in politics for over 40 years, and in that time they've worked hard on relaxing the government's meddling in the real estate market. But nobody has found proper proof, there have been rumours that Leo has taken many bribes from a number of realtor agencies. Dodgy politician? That has never happened before. Anderson Weller, 46, an economic consultant. Anderson has saved countless of businesses from going completely bankrupt. You're the only business they can't seem to save at all, for some unfathomable reason, is their spouse's DVD slash CD rental shop. It just stares into failure all the time. It's a DVD rental shop. It's 2021. <laughs> oh, it's an old 3D headphones. Thank you. Ray was on it. <laughs> Thank you for redeeming that. Thank you, Ray, for delivering. <laughs> okay. Uh, Freddie Osborne, 43, unemployed slash poet. Oh no. Freddy's been homeless for a long time, ever since they escaped their abusive home. They've always felt like keeping on the move, never settling down, until they found poetry. Now they go to all local culture and charity events. Aww. Columba Hunter, 47, airplane pilot. Columba is a distinguished war veteran, these days working as a well-regarded passenger airplane pilot. They're happily married and have five children. As a hobby, Columba is extremely interested in the history of religious buildings. They really don't want to kill them, huh? Based on assumption. Why is it like he has an OO face? <laughs> Unemployed slash poet, who is he? <laughs> Philip Appleton. <laughs> Amazing. Marco Schultz, 37, is a fire chief. Marco just can't get enough of nature and safety. They love nature, they love safety. Avid hiking enthusiasts, they frequently go on numerous geocaching and treasure hunt trips across the globe. Cool. Two of you have to die. Um. Okay. We really have to judge people. Huh? Don't kill him, I like him. I don't want to kill Freddy. Freddy's just chilling, you know? I don't want to kill Freddy. Freddy's going over here. I thought it said fire shot. I was like, it's exclusively flambe. That would be very cool. Hey, he's welcome on a lap. How's it going? <laughs> I hope you're having a good day. Um, uh, this is the cow's business are going bankrupt. You are a dodgy politician. You're also old. I hate that. I hate this. Nobody deserves to die. I feel bad. But like, you are old. You're old. You know, you might be dodgy. Pretty famous. <laughs> Redster likes that. <laughs> like. What is the news? What's going on? Soldering and aliens? Okay. No bias. That's fine. <laughs> no, nobody deserves to die. You know what I mean? Like, out of all of them, there's the oldest. If I have to go purely on, like, cold, horrible logic, quote unquote, like, he's lived longer than the others. Is more likely to die. You know? Also, 
Does the government meddle in real estate for a good reason? I don't know nothing about real estate. I don't know. Like, age is a pretty first standard. Yeah. Like, he's lived a life. Ray, no, how could you betray me like this? Okay. I think you are a definite die. I'm sorry, Leo. But real estate will show a recession. Yeah, I suppose. Rather see a farmer bro die than my bro friend. Let's not. No, we don't want. We don't actually wish death on anybody, but this is a game. So. <laughs> Goodbye, Leo, I guess. You're definitely dead. Okay. You definitely live. Two more people have to die. Apparently. So going by my previous logic, Columba is older than those. Only by a year. Also, he killed a lot of people in the war. <laughs> I don't know if this is a good war or a bad war. Inverted commas. Lots of inverted commas, please. Um, he's a pilot. He's married and has children. Okay. That doesn't ri I mean, you know, he has family that would miss him, I guess. Are there any good balls? That's why it was inverted commas, you know what I mean. Anderson Weller. He can't save their spouse's rental shop. They're just a bad economic consultant then because it's a rental shop. Nobody deserves to die, not even Micro Thatcher, even a real one. No, Felix, no one deserves to die. I'm a firm believer in that. I don't care who you are, you don't deserve to die. You're the fire chief, you love nature and safety. You like to travel. You're cool. I, th I think you're pretty cool. Honestly, from that information- Oh, no, I'm not faxing it. Depending on game age, could- in Vietnam, so straight in the pit. <laughs> I mean, a lot of people didn't have the choice, I believe. I don't know much about it. I'm British. We don't learn about that. Uh, you're just bad at your job, but that's okay. That's not d death penalty worthy. <laughs> Geocaching is very epic. Geocaching does look very fun. Honestly. I don't know who to say. I don't know. Okay, guys, I'm gonna have- I'm gonna try ask you. There is gonna be a stream delay. So get ready to type exclamation mark kill or exclamation mark spare on Columba. Okay, I'm gonna give it a second for the stream delay. <laughs> didn't have Vietnam War in history of Channel 11. No, it didn't. Uh, we had World War. Well, I did do history GCSE. I don't think. No, I didn't, so... They're trying to hit that here. Yeah, okay. Is it die? It is die. My apologies, it's not kill, it's die. That's me being stupid. <laughs> okay. So, actually counting chat. Because of stream delay. So we even said spare, Palex said spare. Sauce said spare. And then Ray said die, Fred said die. So there's actually more for spare going by actual chat because I'm, I'm a silly and I have stream delay. Um, because the timer's not long enough and that is 100% my fault. So I guess we're sparing Columbus, so I guess Anderson's dying, you're welcome. I hope you feel good about this. This is all your fault. Goodbye, Anderson. Live. Live. And live. Cool. End of the day, what happens is your fault. I <laughs> absolve myself from all responsibility. <laughs> Grim, my latest spawn. Three days you have been with us. How do you feel? Hungry. Honestly, I am legitimately hungry. 
probably some of the psychic residue left over from the creation. Making a death is not simplistic alchemy. Now, let me take a look at the files you sent me today. Okay. What if only cart legit for? That's a mage. I was waiting for Cologne, but yeah, I'm pretty sure you were. Right. Everything looks to be in order. You have followed the rules and marked the correct amount of profiles. There really is not much else to say. Okie dokie. You may leave. See you tomorrow. Bye. Did I do a good? I don't know. Bone, what happened? All survived in a plane crash due to skillful efforts of pilot. Oh god, we could have killed so many people. See, oh, we could have killed so many people. But the politician dies after getting hit with a car. Police have not yet ruled out a deliberate hit. Okay. Pro news. Excellent. A spree of bankruptcy strikes the chocolate producing and trading industry. Chocolate scarcity now in action. That's because the bankrupt the guy, the economic consultant's dead. Apparently he was that good. All new series of Wildlife Survivor picked up by Channel 8B. Okay. Uh, so there's not a lot of chocolate and uh, people didn't die in a plane crash. You know, I'll take that. Have you looked outside today? It rains. It's been raining for hours. Appropriate to accompany the despondence within me. <laughs> okay. Here are some rules. Three humans have to die. Thanks, Fate. You're very happy today, huh? And there's... Five of them? Well, that sounds mean, but okay. Erika Valborg? Oh, excuse me, pen. Community manager. Erika is an avid digital sports enthusiast who works at the office of the Parallax Digital Sports League. They're also a death metal vocalist, passionate about getting the very best out of the performance. Damn, they be doing stuff. What the hell? A quick crisis? <laughs> yeah. The wildlife thing was probably Marco. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You kill all of them. I, I mean, technically I could, but I need to do what I'm told, because this is the game, right? Digital sports enthusiast. They're not jobless pollocks. They have they are they are a community manager. They work at the office of Parallax Digital Sports League. Okay. So Jack Cujo. Office worker. Jack has lived a great kind life. They've been working in the local Beats and Brothers consultancy firm for seven years now, ever since they graduated college. Recently, they've been looking for a way to turn their life around in order to stop being an office drone. Grim, I'm watching you. You should mark this profile to live. Okay. I, I'm not... Fate is not giving me a choice. Fate seems to really like Jack. <laughs> The only ever specify a minimum. And I mean, yeah, but I, if I go over, I don't get paid anymore. My community magic too. Are you Rolex? I didn't know that. I don't want to kill Jack Fred, no! Renee is a teacher. Renee teaches languages and literary criticism to high schoolers, an arduous task, all things considered. They have an interest in education science as a whole, with the aim to upgrade the methods of other teachers, as many of the old timers are not up to date with modern approaches. Leinani Leita? Leita? I'm so bad at names. Marine biologist. Leinani, a professor at a local university, has dedicated their life to studying the well being of aquarium fish. It's already known that goldfish have a decent memory, they advocate panning small fish balls. I mean, that is good. Go over it, should be fine. I don't want to just kill everybody, though. The linguist and literarist, I deny you to kill the teacher. God, I don't want to kill anybody. Ryan. Brian, otherwise a soul in his soul, which is an obsession. They adamantly claim they saw, when younger, a headless rider emerge deep from within the autumn mist, searching for their lost beret. Very specific. Okay, interesting. Fishing for fishies, yeah. <laughs> the three of them have to die. Okay. How do I choose? I mean, I've been told I have to mark this live. So. Oh, yeah, I agree. Teachers don't get enough credit. That is true. Live. I do not have a choice, apparently. Jack lives. Three humans have to die, so. 
I can only let one more of them live. Uh... <laughs> oh no, I don't know. I mean, if we're doing, if we're be being consistent, the age thing means I should really let Eric, Eric live. Because they're the youngest, but these two are also very similar in age. Like it's a year, but if we're being logical, or consistent, I should say, not necessarily logical. Um, is it only the age? I mean, not necessarily, no. That was just what we did the other time. I like fish lady. <laughs> okay. We even think I should save the teacher. I don't know. I don't want him to die. I don't want any of them to die. Ah! <laughs> Why game? Why you do do you do this to me? Um I don't know. Okay, you can decide for me. You can decide for me. It's die and spare, I'm pretty sure, right? So I'm gonna click it in a second. Die and spare. Uh, for a teacher. stream delay <laughs> okay we're saving the teacher then I guess I guess based on that we're saving the teacher I don't think your boat would have tipped it right or I guess it would maybe But you know what, it's just so some certain people don't get me later, I'm gonna save the teacher. Okay, okay, I'm saving the teacher, you can be quiet now. There we go. Sucks to be the rest of you, I'm sorry. Go away. Bye. There you go. Sorry about the fish raid, they'll be okay! Grim, there you are. Let us be quick. Okay. All the profiles are here, just as requested. Excellent work. Mm -hmm. I am beginning to sense a tinge of pride growing within me. I did not expect you to turn out such a good and dedicated reaper. Neither did I. <laughs> hey, Paradigm, how's it going? I hope you're good. If you keep this up, you will get far. You may be even promoted to a middle management position. Imagine the possibilities. Wow, exciting. <laughs> the cat emits a delighted meow. That's cute. Anyway, I am quite busy tonight, so you can go. Until tomorrow, Grim. Thank you, Fate. Very cool. Okay, let's kill more people, I guess. <laughs> Lurking while looking, but I'm here. Thank you for being here, Fred. I appreciate it. What are the consequences? Higher educational standards help bring peaceful solutions to simmering conflicts. Awesome. Lightning trust falls on a singer at local concert venue. That's... Oh, no. Market experts warn against investing in Yitcoin. <laughs> Still like the cat's doing the settling. I mean, I can see that. Alright, nothing terrible happened. Touch wood. Morning, Grim. Good, you're paying attention after all. We cannot allow workers to doze off or become complacent, else mistakes may sneak into the workflow pipeline. Do humans have to die? Spare any humans with a science background. Okay. I'm trying to remember that. You could quite know, you could, I know, right? <laughs> uh, okay. If you have science, I have to spare you, and two of you have to die. Okay. We have Sitaro Abe is a virologist. Sutero is a grad student at a virology lab where their research is focused on studying tuberculosis. They edit the tuberculosis genome to see how the changes affect the bacteria. Sitaro dreams of working in a facility that's proper ventilation unlike their current lab. You have a science background. You are spared. 
Congratulations, you get to continue living, I guess. <laughs> Zara Seo, an asteroid hunter. What began, what began as constant stargazing as a child turned into a career in astronomy. Zara's main goal is to find asteroids that could potentially hit the planet and alert the asteroid destroyers unit in the military. There's an asteroid destroyers unit? Damn. Uh, astronomy would be science, so you get to live. There you go. Uh, Feruza Williams. Feruza is an avid investment enthusiast, spending all their waking hours tracking stock prices and buying and selling. We all need a hobby. Despite having zero knowledge of economics and no desire to learn, they keep successfully convincing people on social media to invest in Bitcoin. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay, you're you're like you're from Reddit. I get you. <laughs> all right. So you you don't you don't have a background in science. You can go down here. Wall Street bets. Exactly. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> JB Solomon is a sommelier. Who knows all about wines? JB largely doesn't. They've been lazy at learning the minute differences between grape salts and other aspects of vinification. Lately, JB has started to claim that the headless rider is stalking them around town. The headless rider! <laughs> Not the headless rider again. You don't have a background in science. I don't think sommelier is science background. Bruce says Elon Musk. <laughs> Zara Taejeon is a mason. Zara considers masonry a formidable art, a mixture of intricate design and impressive monumentality. They're convinced that Cosmo Cosmopolis City needs to construct a proper city wall again. He wants to build the wall, oh no. Gregor Hayo is an archaeologist, legitimate researcher or greedy tomb raider. Consensus has not been reached when it comes to this noted archaeologist. The past five years they've been digging up artifacts around the Faradun region. Archaeology is science, right? Is archaeology science? I'm pretty sure it's a science. Yeah? Archaeology is not science. Is it? No, they, they use the scientific method, though. It's like archaeology, it sounds like biology or chemistry, it ends in an E. <laughs> so. Ah yes, I am. Um, I am an epistemologist. Let's go. In the of science, I thought so. Yeah, I'm a stuck-up biologist. That's my hatred for archaeology. <laughs> Amazing. The science of arcs. Ah yes, of course. Okay, so you get to live. Enjoy your tomb reigning, I guess. Two of these people have to die. Uh, is the economy gonna collapse if we don't kill this lady? <laughs> Everything with OG is a science, biology, chem chemistrology, archaeology, astrology, Scientology. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I see your point. I obviously didn't mean that. Um, they're just lazy, and the headless rider is after them. And masonry is masonry is pretty cool, actually. We need to save one more person. Um, I kind of hope the Headless Rider kills him. I'm not going to lie, that would be pretty cool. <laughs> Soggy, <laughs> Froggy. Alright, I get it, I get it. Not everything that ends in Froggy <laughs> is a science. I think I'm going to save the Mason. Kill all of them. No, Starboard, no! <laughs> also, hey man, I hope you're good. I'm going to save you. I'm not taking this to Twitch chat this time. You have to die. Goodbye. Please get murdered by the Headless Rider, that would be great. Plus you tell that is, that is a very stubborn thing to say, yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's have a look. What be happening? What a day, Krim. What a day. What do you mean, what a day? What did I do? Let us go over your conduct first. Good. I see okay. the correct amount of profiles. Today seems to be in order. Yes, let's go! Anyway, Grim, five days you have been with us. How does it feel to make the difficult choices? <laughs> Honestly, I feel like I'm not killing enough people. I crave more. <laughs> oh, no. I do kill everyone standing in front of me usually. <laughs> I 
every moment is living hell. I hate this job. I still feel awful about every choice. A job like any other. I don't enjoy it, but I don't want to say I hate it because my survival rests on me having this job, which is kind of like real life. Oh no! Ah! I need to find a new job really quickly. Um, no, job like any other. Okay, sure. Is it though? I can almost imagine what a normal, basic, dreadful, everyday job would feel like. So would I. I had one until a couple of weeks ago. But think of the humans. Do you think our office is the appropriate way to deal with them? I don't know. Ah, the question is too difficult. After all, you have not even lived a week. Exactly. You Why are you asking me these hard-ass questions, bro? Raw. I've been using this video game escapism from real life to cope. It's not very effective. <laughs> oh no. This control over all the lives, unbeknownst to the humans. Do you not consider it unethical to make the choices you make? I mean, what are ethics? You are fate. I don't know. Do this job in real life if I had the opportunity. <laughs> I mean, you are a skeleton. It does make sense. Um. Yeah, you, you do the- I'm not- I mean, this is very much looks like passing the blame, but you do give me the job and I do it. True enough. One must be in charge. The others are there I'm to too follow. hungry right now to think of the philosophy behind this. The office is perennial and venerated. Eons we have spent designing the appropriate methods and strategy. We know what we are doing. At this job, I would live my life to the fullest knowing the second time receives my only wiped off the face of the earth. Oh no, Reuben! <laughs> Alex, thank you for the definition of ethics. I'm fully aware of what ethics are. <laughs> thank you. Oh, I do apologize for taking up so much of your time. Before you go, are there any questions you would like to ask me? That's true, I haven't seen any children. For a point system. Why are all the purple spread to people as they? Well, I mean, we don't know what they identify as. Uh, why haven't I seen any children? Ah, the children. They are a special case for a different set of departments to deal with. You will not find any yourself. Fair enough. Are there many different offices? Countless. Okay. We're not hazed by princess. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, how many Reapers are there? Infinite. I don't think that's how Infinity works, but okay, really? Close enough. Anything else? Uh, do animals get a permit? Absolutely. All living beings have to be processed after the end. No escape. Even plants. Yes, there is a department for plants. <laughs> do not ask. Do not ask about <laughs> the plant department. Anything else? Uh, is there a point system? Oh, <clears throat> not at all. That sounds like there is. I don't sound too sure about that. Mm, I am, quite so. Predetermined? What about free will? Humans have some free will, sure. They can make a variety of choices. Yet what matters is that they cannot escape the inevitable. Oh. The life-threatening situations that bring them onto your desk the result of their own deeds and decisions. It's the illusion of choice. Okay, okay. All dogs are good dogs spare. I mean, then none of the dogs would die, so... Then there are some highly complex calculations, factors and aspects that influence the situation. But that is just a bit over your pay grade, so do not worry about it. Anything else? Uh, I'm curious to know what your answer is to this. An astute observation. You see, Grim, our office does not operate on information about biological backgrounds or genetic composition. No gender information. Minimal. Everyone you assess is simply human, after all. Excluding any monumental error in normal procedure. That makes sense. The bottom line is that the humans end up on your desk and that you must follow the rules. 
anything else. Okay, I'm done. Right. Thank you. It has been enlightening. I bid you a good night. See you tomorrow. Bye, Fate. Okay, let's go again. <laughs> Seems to be in the precipice of dark times. I may have warned you this job can have some harsh moments. Today is that day. Six humans have to die. At least two younger humans have to die. Any humans with a medical background have to die. What happened? Scientists discover a new strain of super tuberculosis. Oh, that was the person who was faffing about with that, isn't it? Panic arises, new super tuberculosis escapes lab. Doctor believes elders to be most susceptible. CEO of the What What social media platform planning to open a museum of antiques and relics. Historians want artifact looting on the rise, especially in formerly what's on Paris. <laughs> oh no, the archaeologist man. Mayor agrees to build a small 50-meter city wall at the border of the city as a sculpture to ages past. Wall would also protect against barbarian raids if those still existed. I mean, that's pretty pretty good. A small town prodigy moves to the city. We say reach for the stars. Scientists very close to figuring out how to counter a dangerous pathogen. Big asteroid alert! It's coming right for us. Oh, this is all going really well. <laughs> oh no. Hmm. Six people have to die, and we have eight people to choose from. Anyone with a medical background has to die. Two younger people have to die. Okay, okay, okay. Hello, Choi. PhD student. Choi doesn't like being called a student. They are a doctoral candidate, a tormented scholar, a discoverer of drugs, and a cure of disease. Except when a student discount is available somewhere. That's a medical background, so you're dead. <laughs> Goodbye. I'm sorry you got super super colossus. Adira Perez. Adira retired just a few years ago after they felt they'd saved enough money to live comfortably. Their holiday plans were put on hold due to the recent outbreak of super super colossus. Okay, you don't have a medical background, so you can hang fire. Roy is a pharmacist. Roy's dead. Roy's job is to recommend which over the counter medicines people should take. After getting some extra money from several herbal supplement producers, they now exclusively suggest the real drugs contain chemical elements and natural supplements are best. You have a medical background. You're dead. Goodbye, Roy. I'm sorry. It is time for you to go. Hypothetically, do you have to spare two humans? Um, yes. Yeah, because there are eight people, at least a total of six have to die. Scott Scotsman. Oh, damn. He's a dentist. Scott works as a dentist, but sometimes regret not becoming a scientist. Thinking it's too late to switch careers, they occasionally quench their thirst for science by trying to invent new tooth-filling materials. That's the medical background. That's the medical background. You're dead. Goodbye. Sorry, Scott Scotsman. You had a great name. I don't want to kill everybody, Starman. I'm not you. Tamao Hidaka? Inspired by playing Space Intruder a lot as a kid, Tamao decided to join the Earth Defense Unit as an astronaut. A dangerous asteroid has been located for the first time after their training. They must now land on its surface and blow it up. Oh no, that's a movie. What movie is that? That's a movie. Wait. No one ever close my eyes. I can't remember the movie. It's that one, right? I'm pretty sure. I can't remember what it's called. Scott must be Scottish. Is that a no no for you, Robin? I don't mind. I don't mind. I just have to kill him because he's got a medical background. Also, thank you for doing some food drink for him. Armageddon. There you go. I knew the song. <laughs> I don't like apocalyptic movies. Those are very depressing. Um, they're a scientist, so they have to die. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh no, it's not science, it's medicine. You can live, Tamal! There is a chance for you yet. You can still live. There is a chance. Let's put you over here. Annabelle tells. Annabelle has devoted themselves to becoming either an astrophysicist or an astronaut. Two things are somewhat related. They also enjoy painting, mostly nudes, computer pro programming, and volleyball. That's a lot of different things. You're doing a lot, Annabelle. Not, not medicine. The last two times that you've the second set you drank out of a McDonald's cup. <laughs> Yes, because I like to reuse my cups. 
I feel bad using single-use items, so I try to use them multiple times, including clubs from McDonald's. I don't think. I genuinely haven't been to McDonald's today. I have. I'm really hungry. I kind of want to now. <laughs> anyway, Yusuf Al Asta, stay-at-home parent. Yusuf mostly stays at home raising their kid after the death of their spouse. It's been a rough going both mentally and physically, but they're making new thanks to the support network of friends and family. Oh, Dude. Not a medicine background. Yeah, yeah oh, I don't know how to say that. I'm sorry. Uh, this person. For the past 15 years, they've spent every day working in a windowless concrete bunker testing various vaccines in order to eradicate some of the deadliest diseases in the world. During off times, they enjoy lengthy bike rides. That's the medicine background. Your work is amazing. But you have to die now. I'm very sorry. Goodbye. I feel bad. Why the McDonald's cups aren't recyclable? Yes, I know that. That's why I partly why I reuse them. Because I hate single use. Now we have Corona. No, we don't have Corona. It's super tuberculosis. There's something bad happening. It's the tuberculosis. It said on the phone, tuberculosis is happening. Okay, so... One, two, three, four... Two more people have to die and at least two of them have to be young. What counts as young? I'm gonna assume twenties? What counts as young? Young is relative. Young is relative. It doesn't say what younger means. You mean not old, but what do you... Like, I believe Choi would count as young, definitely because 29 and they're a student. Um, say 30 is the limit on young, okay. Kill the youngest two to be sure. <laughs> I mean, I guess. <laughs> but Annabelle's, Annabelle's doing some cool stuff. They're painting nudes, man. Just let them paint nudes, you know? Ugh. <laughs> oh. 20 plus counts. Well, you would say that, Starburn. You would say 20 plus counts is all. <laughs> I do have to kill at least two young people. Annabelle, I'm sorry, but life is cruel. And so am I, apparently. <laughs> okay. That's five. One more person has to die. I feel like if there's an asteroid and there's super tuberculosis, we shouldn't survive the super tuberculosis only to die. Um, by an asteroid. Um, so I would not only say, but also believe that's fair. Asteroid and fan. Yeah, they're, they're uh, going by our previous logic about age being a determining factor. You've lived a long life, you're retired. You've only just retired a few years ago, but like, you know, they're, uh, it's your time, honey. I'm sorry. I feel really bad. I feel so bad. I don't want anybody to die, but you are the oldest. And the other guy has a kid, like, he was raising on his own, and the other guy's gonna save the literal globe. But she's vibing. I know she's vibing. <laughs> She can vibe in heaven, I'm pretty sure that's a thing, right? I was raised religious, I can confirm they vibe in heaven. <laughs> Been up to stream this game just to flex other people with moral issues. Oh no. You mean morals in general. Okay, Adira, you're dead. Goodbye. I'm sorry. Sorry. Yusuf and Tamao, you saved the goddamn world. Let's go. What if someone vibe checked you? Guys, I'm sorry. Ah, Grim. It looks to be a rough day out there. New recruits often falter during dark times. I feel bad. Yet you seem to have performed adequately. How do you feel after? Such I guess to meet day? Bruce Willis, lucky. I know, right? <laughs> I worked it out. I guess. Good. good. We have to do what is necessary. 
even if we do not fully understand why. Let us hope these days do not continue. Any idea what happened? A medical calamity like an epidemic? Interesting. An insightful streak may yet I can literally read. that scum. <laughs> Off you go now, Grim. Good night. All right, bye, buddy. See you later. As the world exploded. <laughs> University mourns as Grim epidemic claims the life of promising student. I know, I'm sorry. Immunologist dead as the epidemic hits hardest at those trying to combat it. Local dentist accidentally poisoned himself when testing experimental new tooth filling. Oh god. Big asteroid successfully blown up! Astronauts return unscathed? Hell yeah. Super tuberculosis death toll rising. Tax evasion concerns local government, possibly leading to cuts in infrastructure. Will superstar racer Miguel Salt bring home another trophy for Cosmopolis City? I don't know. Found a great game in Iowa called Songs for a Hero RPG platformer. An interactive musical, that does sound good. <sighs> See if you can clean up the mess from yesterday, that might give you the boost you need. Don't forget, you may leave troubles behind, but new ones always lie ahead. Thanks, that's really positive. Do humans have to die? Spare humans who seem helpful against the troubles. The troubles being super tuberculosis? Presumably. And tax evasion? I guess. Okay. Agnes, tax collector. Agnes does a thankless job of collecting tax from businesses and individuals on behalf of the local government. They get yelled at every day, but ensure everyone can enjoy public services like roads and street lighting. Yeah, see, tax evasion, this is one of the troubles, so I assume I have to spare them. I'm just going to leave them down here for now. Abu Al Fulani is a white collar criminal. Growing up, Abu showed great promise in being a talented artist. At one point, they shifted their efforts towards forgeries of different types, from paintings to money, at which they are also highly skilled. Okay, you do not seem helpful. Anna von Wolfenstein? Wolfenstein, let's go. Anna has worked as a judge for 20 years and loves her job very much. Not so much because of bringing justice, but the political power the position brings. Anna likes having power and influence even a little too much. Is that helpful? I don't think having a judge that likes to screw with people is helpful. But, uh, for arresting the people? They have more than one judge, though. Hey, thank you for the follow, Bajitobo. I have no idea why I didn't hear that. I think I was concentrating too much. I appreciate it. Hope you're having a good day. And it gets yeeted. <laughs> yeah, I don't think having a corrupt judge really helps anything. But you can go there. Blaze Masterson is a helicopter pilot. Blaze works as the Prime Minister's personal helicopter pilot. They love flying so much, they fly around all day. Even when their employer doesn't need to go anywhere. All the money for fuel is taken from taxpayer funds. Oh, cool. So they waste taxpayer money. Interesting. That's not going to help tax evasion. Or anything else that's happening. So if they die, does that mean... Are they going to die in a crash with the Prime Minister? Interesting. Keep it down, woman. Uh, Miguel So. Oh, this is the theoretical beekeeper. You mean a theoretical? Miguel Sol's always dreamt of becoming a beekeeper, but for some reason, perhaps because of a fear of sharp objects, has never pursued their true passion. This in turn has led them to become a very successful race car driver. An occupation they unfortunately hate, they'd rather just live quietly with their bees. I mean, are you going to bring home another trophy, or are you going to die? I don't know. Not necessarily helpful, though. Most people are jerks being able to kill, too. Yeah. Angus Armitage. There's nothing like the smell of freshly mined coal in the morning. At least that's what Angus believes. They consult politicians on all energy-related policies, always advocating for more drilling, more mining, more cutting. Clean energy is for losers, apparently. That's not helpful, either. So, the tax collector is useful. You are helpful. You get to live. That's a definite. You get to live. Um, do humans have to die? Miguel isn't 
actively bad for events. It just says, will he bring the trophy home? He won't if he's dead. So... Presumably they can live. How do that? Then two of these people have to die. Honey is good. Yes, bees are good. We like bees. I mean, I don't like them in my face, but you know. Um. Tax evasion. Tax evasion is bad. Um. So we have helicopter pilot wasting taxpayer money. We have guy who really friggin' loves coal for some reason. What tax evasion is bad, oh no. <laughs> you take a short nap, hope you have probably the rest of the games when check out toys for myself. Okay, no worries, Felix. I hope you have a nice nap. Make sure you're comfy. I'm gonna be on a sec, okay, sorry. <laughs> um Yeah, he is bad for the environment. He's doing forgery. Um, wasting money and then just a dodgy judge. So... I'm worried that if we kill this guy, it's gonna kill the Prime Minister. And I mean, they're raising taxpayer money, but that's nothing new. In just, like, life. And like, I mean, he's a criminal. Like, he... it's just forgery. Would that, would that be bad? I don't know if he's tax evading. I guess he could. He's forges money as well. That's not good. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think you deserve to die for flying a helicopter. He has promised in the rules to spare him. What, the white collar criminal guy? I mean, he's not gonna help against the troubles. If anything, he'd be actively bad because tax evasion. They saved the white collar crime guy. Why? What is your reasoning? I'm intrigued to know what your reasoning would be for that. Because if he's forging money and stuff, that would presumably not help the economic situation. White collar crime is blog. I don't think it is. I really don't agree with that. You two are basically going exclusively fuck over people, the crime guys trying to survive. I can see that, yes. That is why I'm kind of opening an iron over this guy. I can see that. Yeah, I don't like the political power insinuation. You have to die. So do you. Sorry, Anna. You can live. There we go. It's Sarvan's fault if anything goes wrong now! <laughs> Welcome, Grim. It is the end of the week. Your performance review draws near. How do you think you have been doing? Yeah, I feel like I've been following the rules. Interesting. Hmm. Yes, your answer has been recorded for the psych eval. Now then, before the assessment... Let us look over your daily conduct. Oh no, not the psych evaluation. I see the required program. Okay, I did it right, apparently. Excellent. This bodes well for the evaluation. I guess it is time to get started. What did you ask about today? Yes. What about today? This thing went really bad. What about today? Today? Oh, everything seems to be getting better as we speak. Do not worry about it. 
Fixing the world is a slow process, so keep at it. As long as you follow the rules, it will all get better. Now, where did I put those papers? Ah, here we go. Right, looking at these stats, the numbers say... Your conduct over the seven days has yeah. been most excellent. I, I am win. I get head pop. sincerely <laughs> surprised and pleased by your display of loyalty. So much so that the <gasps> office raise. has deemed you fit for a raise. Thank you. Oh, do not thank me, Grim. We are just getting started. Speaking of, the raise also comes with a prize. The a office prize. is proud to present you with an award of excellence. Display it proudly. Guys, on we your did roster. it! Guys, we're so good. All perfunctory claps, thank you. <laughs> Do not let this cloud your judgment. You still have much to learn and many rules to follow. Uh, more rules? One gets used to them, if in the right mindset. Fret not. Press capitalist spooky boy, hell yeah, that's me. <laughs> As such, your seven day evaluation period has concluded. You have passed. I passed, I did it. Until I tomorrow, win, Grim. right? <laughs> Good achievements. You can trade with them all. I got Master Bouts and Fate's Pet. I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> but yeah, that was really cool. I love that. The writing was really good. And it really actually made me think. God forbid it makes me think. <laughs> I feel bad <laughs> about killing people. Oh no. I did like the demo. I, I've already wished this in your stream, I believe. I'm not gonna wish this right now, because I'm streaming. Uh, I'm, I'm good, thank you. Back to real life. My favorite. <laughs> yeah, no, that was really neat. Oh, that just closes the game, okay. Yeah, no, that was really cool. I really enjoyed that. It's, um... Had a lot of interesting moral dilemma. <laughs> for me. Um... But yeah, that was really cool. I... I'm gonna have to see the full game because I, I don't know like how many more rules you could get or how more complicated it's gonna be. But yeah, that was really cool. If you wanna check it out, there's a link for the, the game on Steam. I'll recommend you go check it out. It's very cool. Um but yeah.